Hello and welcome to another episode of the Williams Learning Lab. We're on the topic of atomic structure and today we're going to learn how to draw Bohr models. I love Bohr models. They're very useful. I think they're kind of fun. Some people find them boring. Alright, bad jokes aside. The basics of Bohr model is in the nucleus of an atom, you're going to have protons and your neutrons. Then electrons are going to orbit the nucleus of shells. According to the Bohr model, they would orbit shells or the orbitals, um, kind of like um, planets orbit the sun. Now the Bohr model does have some problems because we know that um, electrons do behave a little bit more um, uniquely than just orbiting in circles. But it's really useful for understanding electron shells, valence electrons, chemical bonding, um, why ionization happens. And so um, we use them a lot. Really good for a lot of high school understanding of chemistry. So the steps to a Bohr model. Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a circle for the nucleus. Step two, you're going to indicate the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. So you do have to understand how to determine number of proton, electrons, and neutrons. And um, I do have a video on that. I'll leave it in the description. Step three, you're going to draw a circle around the nucleus for each electron shell. And that's where we're going to put our electrons. The first orbital has a maximum of two electrons. The second orbital has a maximum of eight electrons. The third orbital has a maximum of eight electrons. The fourth orbital can have two electrons before the model starts getting less useful because um, that's when we hit the transition metals and transition metals will start um, putting electrons in, in different places. So this is really good for up to calcium. Uh, calcium has the atomic number of 20. So let's draw a nucleus here and we'll just kind of see what a maxed out Bohr model would look like here. Okay, so this represents our nucleus. And inside our nucleus, we'll have our protons. And we'll put that our P equals and then a certain number. I'm just going to put a generic pound sign here for a number. Then our neutrons, or I say n to the naught, and we'll say that is equal to a certain number, which I put a pound sign for the number. Now for the first orbital, I'm going to draw a circle. Okay, and it can have a um, maximum number of two electrons. And this is where our first electron would go, our second electron would go. And we'll do plenty of examples today. Our second orbital, it can have a maximum of eight electrons. Okay, I like to fill out what I call the four corners of the orbital before I start pairing them. I'll pair them on the fifth electron for that orbital. So then I'm just going to do now I have four I'm going to start pairing them. Okay and then I'll say here's the third one, here's the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The reason I do that is because we would um, now be going into the S and P orbitals, and uh, S and P orbitals would not start pairing until we got that fourth one, or sorry, the fifth one. <clears throat> Helps a lot with Lewis structures which is something we'll do in the future. So, as a recap, the first orbital has two. The second orbital has a maximum of eight. This third orbital, 
It can have a maximum of eight also. So I'm going to draw a circle for the ring. All right. And so, so far we have 10 electrons in this atom. So now let's do our 11th electron, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. So we have 18 electrons so far. So remember when drawing the Bohr models, you don't need to draw the numbers. I'm just doing this as an illustration. You just put dots. And so now we're at our fourth orbital. Okay. In our fourth orbital, Um, we're going to say it can hold a maximum of two, all right? And so then we're going to put our 19th one here, and then our 21, 20th one there, all right? So um, let's recap. Draw a circle that, in, that illustrates the nucleus. Put our P equals the number of protons, N equals the number of neutrons and then for our first orbital it can have a maximum of two our second orbital can have a maximum of eight our th third orbital we're drawing it as having a maximum of eight and in our fourth orbital we're only going to draw two after this um, it gets more complicated so we're going to draw our Bohr models like this let's do a couple examples if you have any questions, comments, please leave a please leave them in the comment section. I appreciate that. All right, so we have hydrogen here. So this represents what we'd see on a periodic table. Our atomic number is one, and so that tells us how many protons we have, and that's also the number of electrons we have. For hydrogen, well, to determine the number of neutrons, we take our atomic mass and subtract our atomic number, and then we round it to the nearest whole number. And well, one minus one is zero. Okay, hydrogen is the only um, atom that has no neutrons. All right, so let's do our model here. We're going to draw our nucleus and our nucleus protons equals one. Neutrons equals zero. And then for our orbitals, we only have one electron. So we're only going to need one electron. And so this is the Bohr model of hydrogen. Let's do another one. Okay, nitrogen. So looking at our periodic table square up here, our protons, we have seven protons, which our electrons are going to be equal to that. And then we're going to do 14.01 minus seven, round it, and that would give us a seven. So we have a total of seven electrons that we need to do. Let's draw our nucleus. In our nucleus we have protons that equal 7, neutrons equal 7, and our first orbit is going to have a maximum of 2 electrons. All right, And these pair because only 2 electrons can go there. And now draw our second orbital. We already have two, but we need to get up to seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Okay, let's double check to make sure we didn't make a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons. Um, and one reason why this is really useful is when you see the Bohr model of this, we see um, we have three electrons on the outside that are unpaired. So nitrogen likes to have three bonds. Needs an electron to share here, electron to share here, and electron to share here. That's one of the reasons why this is useful. All right, let's do calcium. This is probably the hardest one that we have. So our atomic number is 20. So we have 20 protons and 20 electrons. Our atomic mass is 40.08, and it rounds to 40, so we'll do 40 minus 20, and that gives us 20 neutrons. All right. So let's draw our nucleus here. And we will have our protons equals 20 our neutrons equals 20 and next we draw our orbitals this first orbital can hold a maximum of two we have 20 electrons to spend so we're gonna have both of our electrons in this first orbital got to fill those lower orbitals first In our second orbital, okay, um, can hold a maximum of eight. Well, we have two so far. We still need 18 more electrons, so we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we have a total of 10 electrons left, and we still got to do 10 more. So we're going to need another orbital. How many electrons can this third orbital have? Okay, it can have a total of 8. We need 10 more, so we can put all 8 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight. Okay, we got two plus eight, there's 10 plus another eight, that's 18. Well, we need 20, so we have two more electrons that we need to put in the orbital. All right, and now for this one, these are gonna be unpaired. Put them right here okay so let's count them to double check especially when we're putting 20 electrons on the page we don't want to make a mistake so let's count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty all right we have 20 electrons and this is the Bohr model for calcium thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments put them in the uh, comment section down below and until next time keep on learning